Welcome back to the channel, Mike Tazaris Prime back from the Transformers Titans Return review and today we are looking at Astro Train. If I can get his fucking wings right. Voyager class Astro Train with his Titan Master Dark Moon. I wonder if his middle names are of the. Um here's a repaint of, or retool of Sentinel Prime. Um or is Sentinel Prime the retool of him? I don't know. They're both the same mould anyway. Uh so he's a strange one. He's not brilliant. I don't love him, I don't hate him, but I'm glad I have him. He was when I first learned there was a Voyager Astro Train coming out. He was one of those and I was like, yeah, I want that. Um, and it's kind of like... Because here's the thing. He's one of those characters that really pushes the boundaries of believability in terms of the mass shifting. Uh, like Megatron, like Soundwave, like Blaster. Um, Megatron goes from big fuck-off robot into a little gun. G1 does. I don't have any gun Megatrons. Uh, Soundwave and Blaster go from big fuck-off robots into cassette players, either standard boombox type or Walkmans. Um, Astro Train goes from big fuck-off robot, but he goes the other way. He goes into bigger fuck-off a shuttle. Um, not just a shuttle that can hold people, but he also becomes a shuttle that can hold um, a dying Decepticon fleet. And Devastator fully combined. So, <clears throat> the reason I wanted a Voyager Astro Train was because a Voyager Astro Train is more believable to me than a deluxe Astro Train. I've got the classics Astro Train somewhere on one of my many shelves, the deluxe one, and I think his modes may be better than this guy, but he's still only a deluxe. And you've got a deluxe becoming a shuttle big enough to house the entire Decepticon army and Devastator. Uh, not the entire Decepticon army, but a good chunk of it. A Voyager, a bigger version of that, makes more sense to me. I know we're not supposed to fucking delve too much into realism, especially with that kind of thing, mass shifting and all that, but to me, it's a bit better. Now, having said that, Astro Train isn't a bad toy. He's, um... I like his colour scheme. Um, his head sculpt is exquisite. Um, he does still have the same thing that Sentinel has with the two side things that go up. The neither help nor hinder it. They're there. Um, a lot of people might just have them down for a more traditional Astro Train look. He's got some nice sculpting on him and some nice paint detail. Um, he is mainly the grey plastic. But the black and the purple, the little bits of yellow and red really help to bring this figure to life. Um, like I said, he is the same mould as Sentinel Prime. I'll do a comparison between the two in a bit. But he is, um, he looks good. He's got his um, gun that a Titan Master can sit in. And then he's got his also his um, standard rifle there. I believe they're exactly the same weapons as Sentinel Primes as well. Let's get them out of the way for now. Um, I will say the the one thing, the one of the things this has over um, Sentinel Prime is it's easier to identify all the little hidden elements. Case in point, these guns, you can definitely see those turrets on his arms there. With Sentinel, it kind of gets a little bit lost because it's all just a lot of red and, in my case, transparent orange. But yeah, you can identify more of the detail. Like he's got those nice little, um, those black bits, that, the little bars that go over the red and yellow abdomen area. 
that's a nice touch. It has these, like, I, I never really figured out what these bits were for. When he opens up his tits. Because I didn't see that being necessary in either mode with Sentinel Prime. I don't know if I'm missing something. But, you know, his, his tits open up. And I really don't understand why. Um, but yeah, shoulder details nice. If we can get to focus. There we go. Nice shoulder detailing there. And I like the continuity between the actual arm portion and the torso portion where the shoulders blend together nicely. Forearms, nice enough. Top arm a bit skinny maybe, but you know. And then there's those turrets again. And the abdominal section. And I mean, look on the inside there. This is something I didn't notice for Sentinel Prime. Because it's hard to appreciate the detail in Sentinel Prime. Even though there was some detail that I did appreciate in there that I was able to pick up on. But with a figure that has more contrasting colours and you, know, you can't see through, you, you can see the stuff that's there better. I mean, like that. I mean, I'm not even mad about that. I mean, that is basically when you split the legs. It's one of the thing, um, pieces that the legs attach to when you split it. But it does look like he's got like mechanical parts inside. It's almost like, um, what was it? Automorph? Not Automorph. Mecha Live. That was the Revengi stuff, wasn't it? Mecha Live. I dig that. I, can't, I like that, actually. Just like there's like inner workings and pistons working inside his abs. Um, you know, Self-crunching. Um, yeah. So I'm surprised I'm doing that thing again where I find myself appreciating something more as I go along. Um, nice thigh detail and the shins. And I like the um, contrast of black, purple and grey on there. And then the black toes. And a little bit of purple there as well. Sides, it's just panels, but, you know decent enough back got the hollow bits for transformation and then the wings which has some nice detailing on it again if we can get a good look at it some nice sculpted detail there so all in all a decent figure come on look at me good um yeah so I'm appreciating it more. And like I said, with Sentinel, because a lot of him's translucent, it's hard. Some of that detail gets lost because you're almost looking through it. Um, <clears throat> but with Astro Train, it isn't the case because it's all solid. And you can appreciate the detail more. And I do feel his robot's the strongest mode. I'd argue that's the case for Sentinel as well, maybe. But um, Astro Train's definitely got the stronger robot mode over his um, vehicle modes. Uh, because Sentinel's train works, I kind of like the, like, I think I called it the Hell Train, didn't I? It's like if Ghost Rider, possess, if, his, if, if, if his train was possessed by the Spirit of Vengeance, if it was like a Ghost Rider train, Ghost Rider Prime, kind of dig that. Um, Astro Train's is, uh, we'll get to it, won't we? Let's have a quick look at... Um, Dark Moon. Some nice does folks in pretty well there. Nice sculpted detail in there. Shoulders and the forearms, chest, and the legs. And you know, the, the face isn't painted, but it's fine. It's a decent little Titan Master. Some nice detailing. I like it. Even around the side, it looks like he's mirroring Astro Train in a way with those little arm cannons it looks like and on the back we've got his head let's see if we can get a good look at his head away from the body I mean the, the purple bit some people might not like that because um, you know Astro Train 
traditionally doesn't have the horns, does he? He just has the straight, like, rounded dome. But, um... I don't mind it as much. Adds a little bit of flair to the character, I guess. So I've lost focus now, haven't we? But yeah, it's a very nice head sculpt still. Um, I think it's because it focused on me. The camera's like choosing what to focus on. Well, yeah, definitely um, a decent looking head sculpt. Decent looking figure overall in his robot mode so far. Um, like I said, a lot of little details and subtleties that you can't really appreciate on Sentinel because of the plastic. So, yeah. Um, he's not bad. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to gush over him. There are things to appreciate about this figure. Um, his robot mode is decent. It's solid. Um, it definitely looks like Astro Train. Uh, let's um and um get there, and I'm glad he's a Voyager size, a larger size. Um, leader might have been better, possibly. I did mention that maybe Soundwave and Blaster. I mean, Blaster as a leader makes sense because he was big. The toys Soundwave toy was smaller significantly than the Blaster toy, but maybe Blaster and Soundwave were Voyagers. Um, I kind of made that argument, but then what would the triple changer mode be, the third mode, because there have to be triple changers. Um, then you give away, you sacrifice the decent base mode. Uh, but I feel like Astro Train could have probably been a leader class. But then he would need a base mode instead of his third mode. It's weird. I get the premise. All Voyagers are triple changers, fair enough. All leaders have base modes, fine. Couldn't have made a couple of exceptions. Six Shot doesn't have a base mode. He has a fuck ton of other modes, but he doesn't have a base mode. So it's kind of like one of those things where it makes sense within the context of what they were going for, but an exception could have been made. You could have made a triple changer leader class Astro Train. And Voyager sized Soundwave and Blaster, but then they would have sacrificed the base mode. It's one of those rabbit holes I don't really want to jump down right now because my brainstorm review took fucking ages and I want to get this done. Okay, so points of articulation his head goes all the way around, arms come out. Oh, my fucking trapped on blur. Get there, blur. It's not your turn yet. Arms go out. They go full 360 if you move the wing. Um, upper bicep swivel. Um, bend at the elbow. No wrist swivel, but it can go in a little bit, mainly for transformation. No waist swivel. I don't think. No, no, no way swivel. Um, legs can go out. Got to be careful though, because his um, crotch splits. So you got to be careful when you pull his leg out. If you don't like just pull everything out, pull off his cock out as well. Um, I'll go forward. Uh, nice ratchet clicks there. Uh, thigh swivel. Bend at the knee. And up and down for action a little bit. So you can get some decent poses with him. Um, you've also got the options of wings placement. Um, you can have them straight out like that. And then that allows you to put those fins out as well. Just to make it all like so. But then you've got massive gaps down the side here. What I tend to do is keep those folded back. Because there isn't a lot of kibble, really. It's a good figure in the sense there's not a lot of kibble. It's just like the fucking 
Titan Master cockpit there, and these, and the wings, I mean, they'd come out, but they're meant to, you know, that's part of his character design. So I tend to have the wings, uh, you fold them back and then fold out on a double hinge. So have it like that. It, it gives, it reduces his wingspan, so to speak, but the gappage down there is gone. So it kind of looks neater, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get him into a um, comparison with uh, Sentinel Prime. And we can check out if there are any actual sculpted differences or whether it's just a straight repaint. I can get him to stand, his fucking legs are going a bit wonky now. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so here's a comparison of Astro Train, and it's struggling to focus a bit, and Sentinel Prime. Who, if you watch my review of him closely, you'll notice I missed, I had the feet mistransformed. Uh, that's the way they're supposed to be. It allows for better um, ankle articulation, and they stand a lot better. But we're going to check out um, and see if there's any sculpting differences. I mean, the paint differences are obvious. The um, head differences are obvious. But if we look at the shoulders and the chest, they appear to be sculpted identically. Um, that it is it's the same sculpting. That piece there, the darker red, is just the interior of the arm, the rest of his arm inside. Because, you know, translucent plastic. Uh, chests and abdominal section appear to be identical as well. Sentinel also has that nice little piston effect that I missed before. Um... While we're here, let's check out the arms. They both have the turrets on their arms. Yeah. And check out the front of the forearms. And they do appear to be the same shape, but I'm noticing more detail on Sentinel. See, that bit there is showing up that Astro Train doesn't have. See, what I'm thinking is they both have those ridges there. And this little bit here. And this stripe down, this strip down the middle. Well, Astro Train doesn't have these lines going down the inner forearm. Now, what I'm thinking is, I'm just going to check. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on his inner arm. I believe that would be internal detail. Like, if you look on the inside, there's those ridges there. So, what I think we've got a case of here is if I just grab Astro Train, let's look inside. Yeah, you see, if you look inside Astro Train's forearm, if it wants to fucking focus, because it really doesn't want to focus over here at the minute, it's getting grainy as fuck. Stop it. But if you look, you can see those ridges. Barely. But you can see those ridges just there. So what I think we've got a case of here is... It is identical forearm sculpting. But because Sentinel's forearms are cast in translucent plastic... 
that we're seeing extra little detail but it's from the inside so you're seeing through the flat plastic and seeing what's underneath whereas with astrotrain you can't see what's underneath uh the hands are the same i believe it's all identical but like i said sentinels um translucent plastic shows off little extra bits like the arms and the shoulders um yeah the legs are the same lower th legs and shin area they appear to be the same as well let's bring them closer so we can get the legs together yeah they appear to be the same as well and the feet so yeah it looks like an identical mold but Sentinel's translucent plastic areas on his shoulders and his arms do make it appear that they are sculpted differently, even though they're not. They both have the same interior sculpting, or from the mould, it just shows up differently on Sentinel. It shows up on Sentinel, I should say. So yeah, interesting scenario there with a really fucking blurry camera, I don't know why. I'm going to see if there's anything fucking causing issue with this. Um, and we'll get Astrotrain into his shuttle mode. Now it wants to fucking focus. So I had a lot of notification come from my phone, and for some reason that always ruins the focus and causes my phone to blur, which I find a bit strange and annoying. Um, this is Astrotrain's shuttle mode. Um, funny story, I mentioned just previously that I had Sentinel Prime's feet mistransformed in his robot mode, and as a consequence, it led to a mistransformation in his shuttle mode. So, yeah, that'll be interesting to get to. Uh, this is Astro Train shuttle mode, though. We'll discuss the issue more in um, the comparison. But it's a decent little shuttle mode. Same as Sentinel, but it does, it's, it's bigger for a start. It's bigger than the deluxe shuttle that the Classics has. Um, as with the others, you can um, peg the weapons in on the sides. Um, there. So, yeah. You do you, I'll do me, it's up to you. Uh, at least remember to put the hands in straight away with this guy. He has his little cockpit up there. The dark knot of the moon can sit in. So he can sit in there. I mentioned the mistake with Sentinel Prime shuttle mode. I honestly don't know if I prefer the wrong, the mistransformed version. Because it had like that Star Imperial Star Destroyer type vibe going on. This just looks a bit bland. With the whole proper fucking nose and all that. I mean, there's still some nice detailing there. Don't get me wrong. Some lovely detailing. And it shows up better as well because it's not see-through, so you're not looking through the detail, you're looking at it. Yeah, some nice sculpting there. Underneath just looks like Astrotrain lying down, but yeah, it's that age-old issue, isn't it? Yeah, some nice detail there. I do like it. Um, I am going to actually, before we go into the comparison, well, when we hit the comparison, I'm going to mistransform this and see if it looks as good as Sentinel does. Um, so yeah, back in a few. Okay, so first off, 
that's how Sentinel Prime Shuttle Mode should look. Yeah, looks okay, doesn't it? That's Astro Train Shuttle Mode mistransformed. I honestly like it better that way. I mean, it doesn't have the curvature, and there's a little bit, there's the contradiction with like this whole rough, jaggedy fucking Star Destroyer type whole front area with the smooth fucking rest of it. But, I mean, it's even got like fucking like the little thruster detail there you can fucking pretend. It's. <sighs> I don't know, there's just something about this that makes it look more badass. I mean, I guess you could have both, couldn't you? You could have um, standard shuttle mode, and then maybe a battle armoured shuttle mode. Like, fucking, you know, it's transporting Decepticons, but then they come under attack from Autobots, so, you know, he, they're coming head on, he fucking... Comes in, transforms, and, you know, armour up a little bit. From the back and sides, there's no fucking extra benefit. But from the front, you know, it could add, uh, like, a whole new offensive or defensive capability. See, that's why I exist. To tell stories and offer up potential scenarios and solutions. I just like that. I just, it just, it's kind of rocking my world at the minute, if I'm honest. Um, considering at the start, I was like, yeah, well, I don't hate it. It's, it's all right. I'm glad I've got it. Yeah, um, opinions really changing now. Um, standard shuttle mode. I mean, there's no sculpting differences. It's all, you know, we've, we've already established that this is um, the same molding uh sentinels got some more paint detail there the astrotrain is lacking but that's fine uh, around the sides yeah it's it's basically astrotrain and sentinel prime lying down so there's not going to be any difference in the sculpting but yeah fucking boring shuttle mode that's the proper shuttle mode which I guess is good for, like, teching day trips and fucking, you know, Sentinels teching, like, little Optimus Prime out to see the stars and all that bollocks. Like, young Orion Pact, one day you shall be responsible for protecting all of this. And then all of a sudden Decepticons come along. He can, I'm not going to do it, I'll just use Astro Train as an example, just switch to that. Oh shit, Decepticons, power armor battle mode or something like that, and bam. Yeah, I do like it. I um, originally I thought you twat because I went downstairs when I went during the transformation from shuttle to um, robot to shuttle. Sorry, and I noticed the feet were different on Sentinel and Laster Train, and I was like, I went and re, re watched my review just to see if I'd done the feet wrong the entire time on Sentinel, and I had, and I felt like a bit of a tit, but you know, now I don't feel like so much of a tit, because either works, and I would argue that works more, I mean, that looks more traditionally like a shuttle, that, you know, battle shuttle, shuttle, buttle, don't know, whatever you want to call it, um, yeah, uh, I'll just, uh, then let me know in the comments what you think, whether I'm just talking complete bollocks, but I do kind of like Battle Shuttle Astro Train, and by proxy Battle Shuttle Sentinel Prime as well. Anyway, enough about Battle Shuttles or Shuttle Battles, uh, let's get him to his um, train mode. Okay, so without the benefit of instructions, I'm confused. So... We're with Astro Train's train mode. And at first, I thought, thinking back to my Sentinel Prime review, have I mistransformed him in train mode as well? Because he was mistransformed in robot, mistransformed in shuttle, 
albeit for the better, you might argue. I will argue that. Um, but was his train mode mistransformed? Because which way is the right way? Now, the train mode in um, Astro Train, we'll talk about that first before we speculate on that. Doesn't work as well as Sentinels does because Sentinels does give off the whole fucking Ghost Rider fucking Hell Train vibe. So, yeah, I'm always going to love that analogy now. This is my Hell Train. I do have a Ghost Rider Transformers crossover planned with Lego Ghost Rider. Maybe he should possess Sentinel Prime. That's worth thinking about. But then I need the normal Sentinel Prime, wouldn't I, just to show the... If I'm... No! No! This is not a fucking writer's room. We're talking about Astro Train. Um, but yeah, without the benefit of Hell Train, it kind of looks weird. You get away with it with Hell Train because Hell Train is not supposed to fucking look conventional, is it? But this is supposed to look conventional and it just doesn't. See, um, it does just. It's okay. It's, it's not fucking awful, is it? It's like a bullet train thing. I don't know whether they're supposed to be up or down. I would argue they would stay up. Um,. It's kind of got the bullet train thing going on here, which is what the classics one was, I believe, with the turrets on the top. And um, yeah, it's still got all that nice detail, like the um, fake wheels and shit, real wheels underneath, and stuff like that. Um, you see, if here's the thing that you know adds to the confusion: that doesn't have a window on it. Or anything if that had a window painted around I'd be more inclined to believe I fucked up when it came to the feet in the train mode because that again that passes as some kind of train like front carriage uh, quick look at the detail again it is nice. There's some nice detail in this. It just doesn't... When you're trying to be a normal train, it just doesn't really work. Uh, add to the fact which way is the right way. Um, conventional wisdom would say that way, but there's no window. So that makes me think maybe that's the right way. Or maybe you could have both. One of each. Either way could work, I guess. You could have it like that. Um, much like the fucking shuttle and the battle shuttle. So yeah, let's get to a comparison with Sentinel in his Hell Train mode. Okay, so if there's one thing I like, it's things that make me think. And reconsider what I previously believed. And this figure does that for me. Because, um, I don't know, I just, you know, I thought it was a bland figure. Not bland as such, I just didn't think there was much to write home about. And there quite clearly is. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to just write a letter to my dad and then um, post it to him, telling him all this stuff. I'll write home to dad and tell him about all this stuff and then wait till he rings me and asks me what the fuck I'm on about. Because he doesn't watch my Transformers reviews. He's too busy for that. But yeah. Uh, so we've got, you know, as I said, um, there's no sculpting differences again. Uh, Sentinel has painted wheels. Astro Train has the wheels, but they're not painted. Um, the only difference really is the paint jobs. And obviously the feet configuration I've got. With Sentinel, we've got... Because I might as well show this off as it is now he's got the um both ends have the um i want to say the correct feet but it's 
I don't know. I think in the original review, I think I had the other feet, the feet the other way. And I've, I've got to believe that they were put there for that reason. So you could pick and choose which way you want. Because either way works. But if you look at... I don't know. That just feels more trained to me than that. If that had the window, that would probably feel more train-like to me. But there's not even any sculpting on there to suggest a window, really. Um... So yeah, it's it's really making me think which way is the right way. And it's a nice headache. We'll call it that. Because you've got like the fucking things there. Um, like the cow catcher sort of thing. And also, if the feet weren't supposed to be dual purpose, why have that part? I could have just easily flattened it out for his um, robot mode. But when you check the robot, he's got that bit stuck up and that bit flat. So, I mean, I get they're supposed to be the proper feet. But when it comes to the shuttle, you can go standard or battle shuttle. But I believe standard shuttle is the intended shuttle. And with... Um, so that means that the only reason these parts exist is for the train mode. And so I believe that the train, at least one end of the train, is supposed to have this part sticking out. That's my theory anyway. But again, you know, Sentinel, you look at it, it works both ways. That works both ways. I didn't even notice that I'd mistransformed Sentinel in his review so both of those ones that works as well both ways it really is um pick and choose you've got a great lot of variety with this figure when it comes to his alt modes and there i was saying Astro Train's fucking robot modes are strongest his other ones are weak um call me wrong um or you can call me right because i know there i know this is quite a polarizing figure some people don't like this and it has its faults yeah the train as a train looks a bit weird like i said with sentinel it ain't thomas but you know, there's some decent options here now and you, you you don't have to have two of those or two of those you can have one of each it really is up to you how you want your astro train train to be or even your astro train shuttle whether you want cruiser or battle shuttle, it um, really is up to you. There's a landing gear, by the way. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. All in all, I surprised myself with this bad boy. Some nice detailing. Like I said, the train doesn't work as well as Sentinel's train because Sentinel can rock the hell train. Um, but yeah, shuttle modes are decent. Battle shuttle modes I quite like as well. Uh, robot mode's fine. I'd probably put the train at the weakest and then I probably would still put Astro Train's robot mode as the strongest part. Mainly because I don't think Battle Shuttle is supposed to happen. But yeah. It's um... All in all, I'm going to do the wrap up here. All in all, decent figure. It's uh, it's really surprised me. It's really made me think about things. It's a curiosity. Um, and yeah, it's actually better than I thought it was. So, yeah. That has been my review of Transformers Titans Return Voyager Astro Train with Dark Moon, his Titan Master. I will be back next time with Six Shot and Quick Switch. And yeah, grab coffee because that's going to be a long one. I've been Desirous Prime. You shall see me next time.